Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video, and today we're gonna to be doing a follow-up to my Canon EOS R review. In my review, one of the cons of the camera was having a single SD card slot, but I mentioned having a backup solution in place during the wedding day, and a lot of you reached out to me and asked what that was. So today, we're gonna to be covering the Western Digital My Passport Wireless SSD drive. Now guys, this drive comes in two different versions and multiple sizes. There is a SATA version, which is kind of like the cheapest, most bang for the buck option. And then there's the SSD version. So I opted for the SSD version for multiple reasons. Um, I guess the first one being performance. SSD is typically faster than a SATA drive, which means when I'm backing up my files here, it's gonna be quicker. Second reason is it's gonna be in my backpack, which means it's gonna be getting bumped and dinged around. And with an SSD drive, there is no moving parts, which means it's gonna be more durable and more than likely, it's, you're minimizing your chances of the drive breaking. Now, 500 gigs is enough to back up two full weddings for me, which is just the right amount because this isn't a permanent backup solution, it's a temporary backup solution. So, let's get to how it works. This drive has an SD card slot on the left-hand side and a USB port in the top. Now, what's awesome about this drive and the reason why I love using it is it can connect to your phone, iPad, or computer wirelessly, or it can back up an SD card or camera without any device just by plugging it in. And that's exactly how I use it. So here's a picture of me using it on a wedding somewhere here. The way it works, guys, is you go ahead and power on the drive. Now you're gonna see multiple LED lights. Now your first LED light here is just the wireless function. Now the wireless function is always gonna be on. You don't have to connect to it to use it. It's very important. The second light here in the bottom is kind of the status of the drive. So here it shows you it's on and it's functioning. Now on the left hand side, you're gonna see four LED lights. When you plug in a memory card, this is gonna be your progress bar on how your memory card's backing up. Keep in mind, if you connect to the app, you can also see a progress bar and monitor it via the app. But for me, I don't really do that. I just plug in the memory card, set it, and forget it. Now, as you can see, the memory card is backed up now. All four LED lights are blinking, which means I can turn off the drive and safely eject the memory card, or I can go into the app and safely eject the memory card there. This is awesome because I just backed up a full SD card, which means that single SD card I had for whatever I just shot is now replicated into a second drive. There's your dual SD cards. Now, throughout my wedding day, I do this once but this is gonna vary how you shoot. So for me, I always like changing memory cards out midday. So more context, my wife and I are a team. So I shoot with two bodies and she shoots with one, which means the first part of the day, I'm running two 64 gig cards and she's running a 64 gig card herself. Now usually by the time we get to the reception, those cards are getting close to full or if not, they are full. And what I do is during the dinner, when we're having a small break, I pop in all the SD cards here and back them up and pop in fresh cards to the camera. Now I can go into more detail on how I manage my SD cards, how I manage my backups when I get home in a separate video if you guys wanna see that. But for now we're just covering the My Wireless Passport. So during the dinner, the reception, when we get that little break, my cards are backing up to this drive and I'm safely creating a second copy. This gives me more peace of mind because now I know my files are in two different locations. And what's awesome about it is I can go into the app and physically see the files in the drive. One thing to note, with a Canon EOS R, this drive still can't read the CR3 files, which are the new Canon RAW files that their new mirrorless cameras are using which means I can see the files, but I physically can't open them. Now, if you were using a different camera, Sony, Fuji, I think almost every file here is supported, it's even cooler because what you can do is you can actually see the pictures and you can even create a copy and bring it into Lightroom Mobile on your phone or iPad. And that's when it gets even more functional because you can actually edit a photo in your downtime, a raw file out of a copy of a copy and give it to your client that day, that night, post it on Instagram. So, like I said, this drive has so many cool features, but I'm only covering the backup piece of it. So, 
That's how I back up my files during a wedding day. Like I said, this is only a temporary solution. When I get home, I back up those SD cards to another drive, which then gets backed up to the cloud, which then means I have four copies of those files. Once I deliver the wedding, I erase the files from here and this drive is freed up. So that's how I back up my photos or my SD card on the Canon EOS R during a wedding day and create some redundancy with the Western Digital My Wireless Passport. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick video. If you have more questions or you wanna see the entirety of my workflow as far as backups go and how I shoot during the wedding day, please let me know in the comments below. But as always, hopefully you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Again, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a good one. Peace.